Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys doing today? Everything is great. All good. fine, all fine. Good. Hi, good evening. Okay. Good, good. So you guys had a good day today. Anything special about today? Not really? Not really. Okay. All right. So today is June the 2nd. Um, every time we start a session, we always start with a, with a review about the last class, about the previous class. Uh, by doing so, what we do is we give a few extra um, minutes to the ones that are not connected yet. And also by doing so, we make sure that everybody's on the same page and everybody gets what we are doing. So um, can you please tell me what we did yesterday? What, what was the main topic yesterday? Passive voice using by. Okay, passive voice uh, including by. So first thing, uh, what is the function of the passive voice? What is the focus? Change the focus of the sentences. Okay, and what is the focus uh, exactly in that case when we use the passive voice? It's like the person who made the things. Okay, so when you use passive voice, do you mention the person doing the things? It's not necessary because you can use passive voice when you can express something without the door yes i don't remember yeah the door, door. sure the door. sure so uh kimberly is is right when we use the passive voice it's not necessary that you include the doer uh we said well, yesterday we mentioned that the doer we're making reference to the person responsible of the action so um if they ask you to include the doer you have to do it. But usually with a passive voice, you don't need to mention who's responsible for the action. However, like I was telling you yesterday, if, if you're in a classroom, if you're taking an exam, and they ask you to use passive voice, including by, then you, you need to do it. It's necessary that you do it. So uh, when we use the passive voice, you always need to include verb to be and what is the form of the verb who remembers was and were okay that is verb to be right and what is the form of the verb past participle. Past participle. that is correct past participle now i also told you yesterday that when we use the passive voice you can use it in different tenses. It doesn't matter which tense you are using. Um, the form of the verb is always past participle when you're using the passive voice. So once again, I told you that in, in, in most of the English books that you have used, there is always a list usually on the back of the book that it gives you base form, simple past, and past participle. So it is your responsibility that you guys are very familiar with the three forms of the verb. So mission number one is to understand the meaning of the verb. Number two, uh, what is the past form? And then last but not least is the past participle of the verb. So what is the simple past form of the word uh, break? Broken. Okay, broke is the, is, is the past form. In the past participle? Broken. 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 So you say break, broke, broken. So your broken. first mission is to understand the meaning of break. How do you say barrer in English? Barrer. 
Starts with letter S. Wipe. Sweep. 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 So you come to your house and the floor is dirty. So you tell the first person that you see, hey, why don't you sweep? What is the past tense of sweep? Swept. And the past participle is the same, swept. So um, many times you have go, went, gone. The three parts are completely different from each other. In some cases, present and past are the same and the past participle is different. In some cases, the uh, base form is different and then past and past participle are the same. Sometimes uh, uh, you have base form and the past participle the same and the simple past form is going to be different. So verbs are very different, especially when we're talking about uh, irregulars. We have regulars and we have irregulars. Who remembers the difference between regulars and irregulars? Regulars ends ed or d and irregular change. Okay, good, very good. So when we talk about regular verbs, um, they always finish with ed. In some cases, the verb finishes with e. So for you to conjugate to the simple past form, you only add d. But at the end, you always have ed. And like, um, and like he said, if you're talking about irregulars, the verb completely changes. So, uh, so you say play, played, played, work, worked, worked, and then you say want, wanted, wanted. So when you're using regulars, you have three different options about pronunciation. Who remembers those three options? Um, what, what is the past tense of clean? Cleaned. 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 The sound is D. The sound is D, exactly. So when, um, that is one sound. Cleaned. 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 You pretend. Huh? Another sound is the, the T. We decide right. work. Work. Exactly. So Work. in some cases, the sound is just a D. Cleaned, stayed, then you have worked, fixed. In, 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 those, in the last two, the sound is a T. So ED sounds like T. And what is the third sound that we have? ED. Ed, how do you pronounce that ed? Uh, want, want to. Uh huh. Want to. Study, study. Okay, study. study is studied. So want, wanted, investigate, investigated. So we have three different sounds. So, anyways, why am I mentioning this? When you use in the passive voice, you always have to use the past participle of the verb. If you're using regulars, you know that the verb is going to finish with ed, but you have to be very careful when pronouncing ed. So you say stayed, worked, and wanted, needed. So we have three different sounds. If you're using irregulars, then the verb will change accordingly. So you guys should be uh, very careful when pronouncing the ed sound of, of, of regular verbs. So um, when we're using passive voice, we use, we use it to give general information or to describe um, a process or when you're giving information in general. Like I said yesterday, you can use um, passive voice in different tenses just make sure that whenever you're using it, regardless of the tense you're using, you always need to include the verb to be and the form of the verb has to be past participle. We have extra practice today. Uh, are there any questions so far? No. Did you get the chance to visit the platform? Yes. 
Yeah. Okay. Are Good there any... Okay, Sorry. hello. Hello. It's going Good. because I'm late. Yeah, but don't I worry. I still need some help from my kids. <laughs> okay, good. Don't worry. Better late than never. Okay. So, um, <laughs> uh, so when you're using the platform, if you analyze the platform, somebody was asking, like, look, I don't understand this part. When you're using the platform, the platform gives you sentences um, in the active voice. Who remembers the meaning of active voice? What's the difference between active and passive? The, the active voice the person who, who did the action in, in passive is, uh, it doesn't matter who is the, the, the active Good, good. Like Ricardo says, with the active voice, you mention who's doing the action. With the passive voice, you don't do it. Unless they ask you. So they said, okay, uh, I gave you the example yesterday. Uh, America was discovered in 1492. Who discovered America? Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. So if they ask you, you need to include the doer, you will say, America was discovered in 1492 by Christopher Columbus. So there you're using a combination of the passive voice and you're mentioning who's responsible for the action. Now, in a real conversation, uh, sometimes you, you, you mention who's doing the action, but sometimes you don't. But like I said, if you're taking a class, if you're taking an exam, if you're taking a lesson and they ask you to include the doer or the person responsible for the action, then you need to do it. So uh, once again, um, you will find passive voice in different structures. Today, we will be practicing with passive voice in the simple past and passive voice in the simple present. You will analyze and compare that in the two structures, in the two forms, verb to be is always there and the form of the verb is always past participle. Okay, um, any questions or comments so far? Oh, it's okay, I think. No. no. Okay, so let's go with the first um, example, with the first exercise. And it's this one here. Uh -huh. Okay, do you, do you guys see the image? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So as yes. you see, this exercise is about passive voice in the simple past. Let me uh, let me take a picture of it, and so I can send it to your to the WhatsApp chat. Okay. So it's going now. Okay, so number one is an example. So um, the instructions, they say that they can be positives, they can be negatives, or they can come in the question form. So the first example, Egyptians built the pyramids thousands of years ago. So this example here, Egyptians built the pyramids thousands of years ago, that is simple past, that is active. So what is your mission? Your mission is to transform this information from active to the passive voice. So if you see the answer for number one, the pyramids were built thousands of years ago. So you don't mention who the, who the doer is. Now, if they were asking you, you would say the pyramids were built thousands of years ago, by the Egyptians. But in this case, they're not asking you to include who the doer is. Um, are there any questions about the exercise you will do uh, right now? No. We have to complete this. The, the, yeah, the, 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 rest, the, the, worksheet, the worksheet gives you the information in the active voice. 
your mission is to change it to the passive. And this is exactly the same of what the platform is going to ask you to do. The platform is going to give you um, sentences, questions, or negatives in the active voice for you to transfer them to the passive. So um, any questions or comments before I assign you to be working in pairs? I have a question. Yes, Kimberly. When, when you use passive voice, you have to use the auxiliary did. If it's, no. If you're using the active voice, then you use did. If, if when you make that, when you transfer that information to the passive voice, passive, uh, the, the auxiliary did disappears. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let me give you an example. Number two says, did Thomas Edison invent the light bulb in 1879? The correct form to, to make the same question in the past, it will be, was the light bulb invented in 1879? And then it's going to be your option if you include the name of the responsible person, in this case, Thomas Edison. So it will be, was the light bulb Invented in 1879 yeah, was the light bulb. Okay, you start with the there to be exactly, exactly. Yes, Thanks. if it's a question, yes. All right, any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. No, all right, so I'm going to assign you to so you guys can be working in, in pairs. Don't stay quiet. This is your space for you to practice and improve your fluency, your pronunciation, your accuracy. And if there is something you don't understand, please raise your hand and I'll come visit you. All right, so let me assign 14. So I will make seven pairs. Here we go. The active voice and you change in the passive voice. The active is the Chinese first used paper money over a thousand years ago. It is a little bit more difficult. Uh, let me check the sentence. Huh? 
Yes, in the WhatsApp group, it is there. Hello. Hi. Are you hey, guys this. doing the exercise? Hi. Hey, he's trying hey. to find the picture. Oh, uh, Aide, are you in the chat? Yes, teacher. In this moment, I can see. Oh, okay. Good. All right, good. Uh, Clyde Tombach. Ah, yeah. Number three. Yes. I, I think uh, could be Pluto was discovered in 1930. Pluto was discovered uh, by, by Clyde Tombaugh in 1930. Sure, okay. that one is good too. That one is good too. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I don't have to use the verb to be. Right. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tumbo. Uh, so you use verb to be. Pluto was, was is, is verb to be. Was this, um, yeah. Was discovered by Clyde Tumbo in 1930. You can say that too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, okay. Good, very good. Okay, the next, the next uh, one. The Chinese first. The answer was, the answer could be, it was the light bulb invent, invent, invented, in, invented, <laughs> in 1879. Yes, it's a, it's a correct. Mm. I think it's paper money. Paper money. Uh, was uh, you see it? Paper money. Uh, where was, where? No. No, was. Which, which, which number are you doing? Four. Number four. Mm. Yeah, paper money was. Was. Yes. Yes. Uh, are you guys doing okay, Walter and Manuel? Yes. All right. Good. I, uh, uh, paper Manuel, money do you have was, a question? Um. Yeah. About the 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 the. the Third, third exercise. Uh huh. Uh, we were discussing with Walter about the the sentence, the okay. right sentence, and the conclusion was that Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. If okay. if you are using by. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you can also say uh, Pluto was discovered in 1930. So, uh, uh huh. Can I change the 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 I don't know the the ordering of the, of the sentence? For example, Pluto uh, was discovered by Clyde in nineteen thirty. Yes, you can. Is that is also that correct. That is that is acceptable too. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Right mm -hmm. now, uh, since we're according to the platform, we're using a uh, passive voice and we are including by. And by usually comes at the end. So you can say, mm -hmm. uh, Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombo. And it's, and it's fine too. Okay. Yep. Thank you. All right, good. Okay, number four. iPad or it was in Introduced in 1986 by Steve Jobs, I think. It's like the example we did yesterday. 
my sister. I think that we can use uh, the first stop or it. The first real car was invented by okay. Carl Benz. In that way, we mentioned the, du the doer. Yes. But we try to do it in a passive voice when we <clears throat> and don't mention the, don't men, don't mention him to say yeah next one people may to pierce mcdonald uh hamburgers in 1965 which number are you doing Seven. Seven, okay. So what's the answer for number seven? Ah, people watch the first TV in the 1920s. Uh -huh. The answer for me is um, the TV was watching the first what? time, what? The first time in the ni ni 1920s. Okay, so the first TV was watched in the 1920s. That is good. Uh-huh, yes. Good. <laughs> and I don't have a, a group, I think. You don't have what? Uh, a partner with talking. Oh, with you, talk. you have uh, Eduardo there with you. Uh, well, I never hear him. <laughs> Eduardo, have you been practicing with her? Not yet. Not yet? <laughs> Why not? Because I say hello, hello, but she... Mm, she never answered. Answer. Yes. Okay, so do the talking <laughs> right now. <laughs> no. Yes, but the... <laughs> I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Did you guys finish the exercise? Uh, yes, but we have a question about yes. letter six. Number letter six. number six. I'm sorry. Okay. When did Carl Benz invent the first car, the first real car? Uh huh. So, what is the question, Kimberly? Uh, We're trying. Uh, to do this, this sentence. Oh, okay. Yes. The instructor is the, uh, the the first real car. No, when was invented the first real car? Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the when answer. When was invented? Okay. Yeah. When was the first real car invented? Oh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. So remember, oh. like, uh, I don't know who, who was the person that asked. Um, yeah. When you when you're using active voice, you use auxiliary did. When you change that into passive, you change it to was or were. It depends uh, the personal pronoun that you're using. Okay, but okay. when you the first car invent without to be in the in the middle. When was the first real car invented? Okay, okay. thank you. Yes. It is when you use WH question. Right, right. So you said, when was the first real car invented? Or um, if you want to include the, the preposition by, you say, when was the first real car invented by Carl's Benz? Oh. If you want to include it, but like I was telling you in a real conversation, uh, sometimes you never mention who the doer of the action is. You're just sharing the information, and uh, if necessary, you mention who the doer is. But many times you don't need to do it. Okay. Okay. All right. right. Okay. Did you finish all the exercise? Yes. All right. Good. So let's return to the main session. Okay. 
All right, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, can you yes. still see the image in the in your screen? And no. Okay, but you have it in your phone. phone. Yes. Okay. So um, I need I want to make sure that everybody's on the same page and we're doing things the way we should. I need a volunteer to do number two, please. Did Thomas Edison invent the light bulb in 1879? Light bulb. Um, was the light bulb invented in 1879 Very by good. Thomas Edison? Okay. If you want to include by, it's perfect. <laughs> if you want to omit it, that's, that's okay too. Very good. Uh, number three, Clyde Tombo discovered Pluto in 1930. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombo. Very good. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombo. Like I said, if you want to mention who discovered it, that's fine. If you don't want to do it, that's fine too. <coughs> Number four, the Chinese first used paper money over a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. The first use of paper money was over a thousand years ago. Okay, uh, the first paper money, yes. Very good. Number five, Steve Jobs didn't introduce the first iPad in 1986. Yeah, the first iPad wasn't introduced in 1986. Good, good. Number six, when did Carl Bells invent the first real car? Somebody? <laughs> the first real car invent, no, was. <laughs> was invented. <laughs> when was? <laughs> was? When was? <laughs> when was the first oh, real oh, car oh. invented? <laughs> Okay. okay, good. So when was the first real car invented? Now, once again, if you want to mention who invented the first real car, then you mention the name of the person. If you don't want to mention it, that's okay too. Very good. Number seven, people watched the first TV in the 1920s. The first TV was watched uh, by people in the, in the 1920s. Good. Now, what is the past tense of watch, Ricardo? Watched. 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 Very good. Very Watched. good. And number eight, people made the first McDonald's hamburger in 1955. The first McDonald's hamburger was made in 1955. Good. Very good. Nice. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any questions or comments so far? about the passive voice in the simple past tense. No? Yes, can you repeat uh, the, the sentence uh, six, please? Number six, okay. Yes. When was the first real car invented? When was the first real car invented? When was the Now, if you want to include who invented the car? Then you said, when was the first real car invented by Carl Benz? Okay, thanks. Sure. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? And about the uh, seven extra signs. Uh -huh. um, the right answer is the first to be, uh, the first to be was, washed. Yeah, was 19, watched in the 1920s. 1920, okay. Yes, that is correct. Was watched. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? Okay, so this one in particular, this exercise in particular, is about the simple past tense. So when we're using the active voice and you want to make questions, you use did. Um, and also you can use was, were. When you use the passive voice, did is not applied. You use only was or you use only were. 
was, were. Any questions before we change tense? Our, uh, our next topic is still passive voice, but not in past. It's going to be in present. Any questions before we switch? Uh, can you repeat the, 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 the last thing you said? The did is not apply in passive voice in past. Exactly, exactly. You use did when you use in the active. Hey, did you eat dinner? Did you drive your car? Did you wash your shoes? You're, you're making a question in the active uh, voice. When you make that question and you transfer it to passive voice, then uh, you don't mention who. Mm -hmm. I mean, did. You don't mention did. <laughs> you omit it. Yes. Anybody else has any other comments or questions? No? No, for the moment, okay. no. Okay, good. So when we use passive voice in the simple past, we use was and we use were. We have two forms. What are the three forms of verb to be in present? Um, um, are, is, is, Good. Is, is, um, is, is, are. Um, um, is, are, are the three forms that we have uh, of verb to be in present. If we use verb to be in the past, we have was and were. So let me show you this. Okay, do you see the image? No. No. Okay, no. Hold on. I think I, I think I zoomed it too much right now. Do you see it now? No. no. Not yet. Okay, so okay, I must be doing something wrong. Hold on. Okay. 